If I ask you which painter cut off part of his ear and painted sunflowers, my guess is you're instantly gonna know who I'm talking about, right? Vincent Van Gogh. But there is a lot more to Van Gogh than just ears and sunflowers that made him one of the most influential artists who ever lived. Let's dig into who was Vincent Van Gogh. Top 10 things you probably didn't know about Vincent Van Gogh. Number 10, massive body of work. Number nine, very late bloomer. Number five, brothel regular. Number three, actually he might not have cut his ear off. Recent historical investigation has given reason to suspect that Van Gogh's famous self-mutilation connected with the departure of his impressionist muse, Paul Gagwin, from his life wasn't really self-inflicted. It was believed that what actually happened was Van Gogh and Gagwin were arguing. Vincent provoked Gagwin to draw his fencing sword, and he likely accidentally struck Vincent on the ear. Number two, lead poisoning. A big contributor to Van Gogh's numerous psychological problems was very likely his habit of ingesting the neurotoxin lead by sucking on his brushes because of the somewhat sweet aftertaste of his lead paint. Number one, sold more than one painting. Part of the mystique of Vincent Van Gogh as a tragically struggling and underappreciated artist is that he only sold one painting during his lifetime. Vincent van Gogh was a Dutch post-impressionist painter whose work, known for its emotion and beauty, helped lay the foundations of modern art. In one year, van Gogh created over a hundred different works, including Starry Night and the Ravine. The Ravine is one of the many pieces of work created by van Gogh during his last year at the St. Remy Asylum. Apparently, at one point, the artist discovered that he had run out of new canvas and decided to sacrifice wild vegetation to paint the mountainous view of ravine under near his asylum. Today, the ravine sits in an impressionist room of the Boston Museum of Fine Arts. On March 30, 1853, Vincent van Gogh was born in a small town in the Netherlands to a Protestant minister, Theodorus van Gogh, and his wife, Anna Carbentas. Unfortunately, one year earlier, Anna had a baby who died stillborn, whose name was also Vincent. They must have really liked the name since they used it once again for the Vincent van Gogh we know. <laughs>